What's up guys? A little update from Burry's Metal Mansion. Hey listen, last time I told you how my amp went down, but you know what? It's working great. I opened it, checked the fuses, didn't see anything wrong, put it back together and I was already carrying it outside. Then I just thought, maybe I should check it one more time. But then I thought, no, what's the point? It's broken. But then, still, I put the power on and cables and guitar. It worked perfectly. Before you say it, I did try another cable. It wasn't about that. I guess it was the guitar. Check it out. There's something wrong with electricity in my guitar. Have a look. You may ask why do I have this plastic bubble stuff here? Well, it's because this guitar didn't sound so great. There was some ringing going on in the bridge, I guess, because of this hollow spaces here. It somehow made these metal parts ring in a weird way, and it was sounding thin also. But then I felt like Agnus MacGyver, and I put this stuff here, and I actually put sock here. Let me show you. This is some good old MacIver stuff right here. I had it like this. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. And it's made by me. But you know, man's gotta do what man's gotta do. You may ask why don't I put just a plastic cover here. It's because I don't have it anymore. I've lost it. Then you may ask following question. Why don't you make some kind of cover there? And no these fucking socks and bubble plastic. Well, actually, I had this. I had this kind of cardboard here at the back of my guitar. It just didn't make the cut. I don't remember what was wrong with this, but maybe it got my belt or something and it fell off. This is the kind of shit that you come up with when you don't bother to do things the right way. There is right way, there is wrong way, and then there is Metal bird is fucked up way. I go with the ladder. And trust me, there's gonna be some quality videos coming soon. No more this low budget crap shit. In a while. The next video is gonna be great shit. I already shot Digitech Whammy songs. With Whammy of course. There is few songs that can be played with Digitech Whammy. I played parts of those songs. It's gonna be great, it sounds awesome. After I've shot this, I'm gonna do advanced Digitech Vami tips that I promised you earlier. It's gonna be great also, not as great as the Digitech Vami songs. Don't hassle, they're gonna be here soon on Metal Burry's YouTube channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. My speaking isn't very fluent again. Now it's because I haven't slept a single second last night. I always have great excuses for doing shitty videos. That's how you do it in Finland. By the way, look how the weather is in Finland. There was super high snow. It snowed so heavily in June. Uh, June? Wha what month is now? January, February, March. A it's April. It's April actually. I have to correct you, it's April. What else, what else? I have those little two fuckers around again. They are sitting there and watching, protecting my stuff. I will show you something interesting relating to metal. You know Machine Head. Or you don't. Or you do. You should check this out. They just put out new version of Davidian. Davidian. How is it pronounced? Davidian. 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 I don't fucking know. You know the original Davidian. It's fucking great. It's like their first song. Their first song on their first album. Wow. You write Machine Head Davidian and it doesn't... It's not even on the first page new version. It's studio live, or so they told. You never know for sure about those live. They're usually live. There's usually some fixing going on nowadays. I think it's not on YouTube. It is on YouTube. It says it's hidden. It's Pila Tattoo. A Pila Tattoo. Maybe it's public soon or I don't know. Well, anyway, listen to this shit. Sounds great. You know what? There's those original players. 
Chris Canto, she's holding the sticks. Isn't that great? And Logan Mader, Mader, Logan Mader, the guitarist, he's also on. They are also doing the Burn My Eyes 25th anniversary tour. But it's lovely to see Chris Cantos play nowadays. The only time I ever heard him was on Burn My Eyes album. And then I haven't heard of him. He did excellent job. Great drumming on that debut album. Okay, that's enough for my chit chat. Okay, subscribe and hold your breath for that Digitech Rami songs. It's gonna be great as I said. Bye.